Uh, what's up, gang? How's it going, everybody? My name is Wiltonger. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with a brand new episode of Ben 10 Power Trip. The first thing I would like to go on ahead and say is thank you. Thank you guys so very much for your support for the series so far. It has been so, so overwhelmingly possible. Possible? No. Positive is what I meant to say. So thank you guys so, so very much for your support. I really do appreciate that a ton. If you guys are enjoying the series and if you want to see continued uh, uploads pretty quickly for this particular game, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys who is watching. And of course, particularly so those of you that go out of your way to go on ahead and also hit that thumb up button so thank you so very much for your help now with all that in mind in between episodes i got a lot of stuff done and i mean a lot of stuff done so i did go on ahead and level up our luck level i think it's like level 9 or level 10 now so that's crazy i did go on ahead and explore the areas all throughout quite a bit again i didn't do anything that has the main story quote unquote in uh, the sites, I guess. So we still have to tackle all the main missions in the snowy biome. So we'll deal with that. But what I, you can see, sorry, let me just zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, you can see on this map, a lot of these question marks, first of all, now appear because I did go on ahead and purchase one of the treasure maps because I was just genuinely curious to see what the treasure maps would actually do. So now we kind of have an idea of what to expect. And the other thing that I did is obviously complete a few more of the rift challenges, find a few more trinkets and uh, complete general tasks. And the best way to really surmise that and show you what I mean is just by simply going on ahead and scrolling down over here. And you'll see that we're currently on Mount uh, Iceberg, I think is the name of it, right? So you see the main missions are completely incomplete which means that obviously we have to tackle all those. You do have some passive missions, which I'm not really sure what that even means because we never even ran into any of those on this particular area, the uh, Grash grash gill for forest so that's another thing we're going to need to tackle at some point and same thing goes for the uh, strudelbeck city we did not see those passive missions either so i don't know what those are hopefully we'll figure out sooner than later what they actually mean i did complete a few more decibel concerts and obviously like i mentioned to get some upgrade points plus collect some trinkets all right so with that in mind let's get back on track to the main mission we go of course guys don't forget if uh, you're enjoying, like I said, hit the thumbs up button. Let's rock and roll. It's time to see what the next main task is going to be for us. us okay. This guy's name is Eddie Klaus. Are you related to Santa? Klaus? Whose skills would be a good match for this. Hold tight. Huh? Okay, so I guess we're just supposed to melt down the snow drifts. Fair enough. That should be pretty easy. That's one. That's two. Whoops. Uh, three. Okay, so there should be six more. The problem is I don't see any more outside. Oh, okay, I see. There's a bunch up this street. I didn't even notice that. Five. Six. Seven. Again, the confusing thing about this game is that it gives you way more options than you even need to complete. Like, I've already completed the mission, right? So, it's kind of odd that there's still all of these to clear. Like, there's no reward. I wish it would have at least given us, like, coins or something, you know, as just, like, a reward for doing all this. But it doesn't do that, so... Definitely kind of interesting. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to head to the Long Horse Inn. Whatever that means. Okay, there's still more of these things to clear out. So strange. So, so strange. Seriously. And and again, I, I don't even know why we didn't get some sort of like, Hey, mission completed type thing. There's just all these tasks. We complete them. But we don't actually get some type of a mission completion event, I guess, to unfold. So, very, very strange. Oh my goodness, that is just weird. <laughs> it's literally got like a big giant horse's head on the side uh, of the building. I mean, I guess it is called the Long Horse Inn, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. And so you're supposed to, what, melt down these snow... Oh, wow, we literally rescued a human. He was hidden below the snow there. 
That's quite shocking. Okay, happy to help. Hello. Marie Gustafsson. Stefan called me and told me a fine young man would be coming to help. It must be you. It is indeed. That's me, Ben Tennyson, here to help. Wait, his last name is Tennyson? That's why it's Ben Ten. Oh. Town. Wow, I literally just had a, a big brain moment there. Where it's like, oh! Roger that. Monsters. I can handle that. Oh, she's up at the ski lodge. Please hurry. I'm on it. Okay, where's the ski lodge? Something also tells me we're probably going to unlock another new character here. Or another new uh, alien. Because so far, every time that we've tackled one of the main missions, or like one of the main mission areas, that's how I should phrase it, uh, we would get a new alien power. So maybe that'll be the same here this time. Marie told me you could use some help. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Bunny Hill, manager of the Icebox Lodge and retired professional skier. Okay, Bunny Hill or no Bunny way. Hill. Is that supposed to be a Benny Hill joke? But I'm not as young as I once was. My nephew is professional snowboard of Francois Lecroix. Mm -hmm. No way! Yes, yes, but listen. He was taken captive by strange monsters at the top of the mountain. I would go myself, but the ski lift is down. Okay, we can fix the ski lift and then you can go I battle the monsters, I guess? Snow <laughs> can you imagine if that's what Ben actually does? It's Instead of actually the battling the monsters, he just fixed the ski lift and goes like, Okay, now you can go Please. take care of the monsters. Leave it to me, man. Okay. Well, hurry is Accelerate's middle name. Should be able to actually get there pretty quickly. Oh, there's one of the Decibel uh, concert missions that we've already completed. So that was nice. Uh, so we're going to need to go around a little bit. What the heck? How am I going to get up there? I guess using this. Not much else I can do. I, I at least hope that this is a viable route. It looks like there may be a dead end, but I wonder if heat blast might be able to melt these doors away. Okay. Hey, monsters nearby. Yep, we got ourselves a challenge. So check out how many uh, coins we're going to get from monsters now because of our luck level. Do you see that? Remember when we used to get, like, uh, five coins? How crazy is that, huh? So that's a pretty substantial boost. And that's why I said I wanted to focus on uh, increasing the level of luck. Because I knew that had we done that, we would go on ahead and... Um, be able to actually purchase upgrades relatively quickly. And uh, hopefully I'm right. Obviously, I don't know that for certain yet because it hasn't really played out that way quite yet as far as the actual unlocks. Okay, can I actually jump up there and battle him? There we go. Sweet. Okay, so that gets another Void uh, Rift challenge completed. Which means we will be getting another reward. Could be actually even an upgrade point here as well. Nope, just a mission reward of 25 coins. That's fine. Not great, but I think that does put us at... Um... Okay, so you see, there's got to be an alien that can climb this. And we don't have that alien yet. So hopefully, maybe even today, or in this part, I should say, we will unlock said alien. I don't think I could, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't make that jump happen. Coming in hot. Hmm. Okay, unless if, I mean, maybe Shockrock is the one that can actually climb this? No. Hmm. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that there was another bridge up here. Okay, good thing I checked before I left, because I was about to go the other way. I was like, okay, maybe this is the wrong route. Maybe this is not where we're supposed to go. Huh. Can I get up there, I wonder? I sure can, and it looks like we got a trinket. What is that? A long horse in keychain. Of course. Just what I wanted! Everybody's favorite Christmas gift! That was a pretty crazy leap right there. But we got it. GG. Well played. Uh, there's nothing I can actually collect over here, so I think I'm just gonna 
traverse across this. Ooh, okay. It's been a hot minute since we actually had uh, needed the help of um, forearms. But let's transform. And... Yeah, it's kind of odd if you really think about it how rarely we have had to use forearms. Like, if you're a fan of forearms... It's kind of unfortunate. I'm sure you're kind of bummed about that. So, sorry! Obviously didn't expect that forums wouldn't be getting really all that much attention in the game. Oh, wow. Holy. Look at that. We, we started all the way down there. Slow and steady with each little jump. We have scaled all the way up this mountain. Quite metaphorical, right? Um, all right, let's select accelerate. I just like the ability of being able to move so much faster when you accelerate. It's super duper handy. And then other times we actually need the ability to traverse onto taller and taller platforms. Oh, I've I've explored this area just from the other side actually. It's kind of odd that it took us with the longest route possible, but okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe just for the sake of difficulty. The game's like, hey, here's the least convenient way of doing this. But we want you to do that in order to uh, learn some new mechanics and stuff. By the way, uh, you can get a free upgrade point by... Um, if you like these little um, platforms here, which I've already done. And I actually managed to earn an upgrade point earlier. It appears over on this little pedestal area. So just giving you a heads up on that. Oops. Sorry. Looks like I'm going to have to go back into Heat Blast. Get some more coins. Nice. And we'll buy an upgrade. Um, not an upgrade coin. An upgrade from Carla Clams was her name, I think. Right? Okay. I think we can get a move on here. And... Hold on. That requires some pretty serious traversal skills, which we obviously have. Okay, so we made the climb all the way up the mountain. It took a while, and honestly, there was much faster and quicker ways of doing that instead of going all the way around. But for some reason, the game guided us that way. It's Francois Lacroix! Okay, I will help you. Do not worry. Save Francois from the monsters. This will be easy. Holy man. Those upgrades were so worth it. So, so worth it. And I think this might very well be where we unlock a brand new alien. Now, the question is, what alien could it be? Because which alien have we not unlocked yet? I guess we could take a look at our um, Omnitrix, which you guys actually let me know uh, in the comments that that's what the watch thing is called. And uh, look at some of the silhouettes there. I think one of them is the diamond guy. I don't remember his name. Diamond dude or something like that. And um, so it could be that one. I guess we'll see. Let's not spoil it. Let's just find out which one it will be. It will be the one that can climb, clearly, based on the rest of this level. So let's see who it will be. Oh, never mind. They've got the... Get ready to face the wrath of wrath. Wrath. Okay, so I think he's called wrath. And we got the looking sharp... Okay, so this one can do kind of a double jump. You can also climb on these little mounts. It's kind of neat. Okay, this will be useful, especially because a lot of times it's... Oh, and he can grapple across these as well. Cool. Okay. So, cool. This is probably the most um, platform or platforming heavy character. Because you do quite a bit of platforming as this guy. Is that it? Is there something else there? Nope, there is not. So I think we've got it. Sweet. We make the climb. We make the climb. I, why am I jumping backwards? <laughs> uh, I can't see anything there. Okay, let's start the other way. Can we change the camera? There we go. Yeah, that's nice and helpful. Because before that, I, could, I literally could not tell where we were supposed to go. Okay. Again, moments like that, obviously, the game feels very low budget. Okay, ow. 
That was also weird because I said the game feels low budget and then he's like, Hey, Dem's fighting words. It's like, did you hear me? That's just creepy, bro. That's just a little bit spooktacular, this hole. Okay, more coins up here. I'll take that. Awesome. Wait, so I think we still... Let me see now. Okay, so yeah, I think this is that diamond guy um, that I was talking about. So this is Diamond Dude, I think. So that would mean that that would be the last alien that we actually need to unlock would be Diamond Dude. So it'll be interesting. Press the L2 button for the scent marker to follow the trail. And then you're able to dig things as well. Cool. To find hidden switches and such. Neat. Again, it keeps the character unique and different compared to the other ones, so I can appreciate that. Something different. Again, this is this game by no means is it exceptional or great. It's it's an all right game, but for what it does, it does it surprisingly well. And then if you can really just kind of suspend your um attention to detail and just kind of look at the game as uh ridiculous as it is sometimes Take that. it's had some pretty funny moments like legitimately laugh out loud moments where i was like what how what you know like just moments where you're like how what who wrote this some crazy crazy terrible puns some honestly clever puns and funny ones as well and the the thing that's most surprising is how many jokes are actually written more for towards like adults than they would be for like kids even though it's obviously supposed to be a kids game so kind of odd but or at least uh, i mean again the issue here is that like ben 10 came out so many many years ago that it's like is it supposed to be a kid's game? It's like Pokemon. You know, there's a lot of people who've grown up watching Ben 10 at this point who probably will be yes, playing this game as well. I'm so it's kind of tough to classify. Merci, but I'm afraid I twisted my ankle. Perhaps you could get this key lift running so I can head down and tell my auntie I am okay. Sounds the good. Must be hiding somewhere on this mountain. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So. Use... Wrath to track down one of the missing parts. Okay. Man, that's kind of a cool ability, actually. So there's one of the parts. Whoa! And you got... A giant wave of enemies that spawns immediately. Once we defeat these guys, we can make our way down the mountain and get the uh, upgrade that I had mentioned earlier. So that'll be sweet. I'm going to transform to Accelerate just for the sake of being able to get around quicker. We need Shock. Wait, do we need Shock? Oh, there's more missing parts. Got it. Okay. So let's just put Wrath on quick rotation because I'm sure we'll need his help. Several times over here. Okay, this one actually leads us down the mountain. Which, speaking of which, was kind of what I was talking about when I said that there's an easier path that we could have taken up the mountain instead of going all the way around like the game had uh, guided us. Okay, something tells me we're probably going to have to climb. Oh, maybe not. Over maybe not. This guy legitimately also looks like uh, the cereal uh, mascot. What's his name? Tony the Tiger. Doesn't he? Okay, I'll just leave those enemies be. Because we don't really need to fight them right now. Okay. And... Okay, I think I might be better off to actually just jump across these platforms as um heat blast because he actually has a double jump okay that's another missing part oh nope how wow how did he do so much damage to me i mean i know i'm not upgrading our toughness all that much but still 
supposed to be like a random default enemy and he did so much damage what is that is there a rift inside the sky oh no that's the laser blast that he tried to hit us with i think right fair enough more power to him okay that's another part there's another part still missing this is the last missing part okay let me guess this one's gonna be somewhere on the right hand side because it's really kind of been divided across the three different branching paths okay we're going up here obviously are we not going up the oh maybe we are but not up that mountain we're actually going up onto this one Take that. hey got it I see more that. monsters Jump attack. What's this? Whoa, that's actually kind of sick looking. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, there's more enemies. Where are they, though? Oh, they spawn down below. Okay, I wonder what this does then. Let's see. Did that do anything as far as damage is concerned? I don't think it actually did anything. Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to be then. Maybe... I can't even use it again. I'm pressing R2 and it's... Maybe it's on a cooldown, to be fair. But still, just kind of odd, because you'd think it would maybe do, like, some sort of sonic blast damage or something like that, but that's not the case. Okay. So there are all the parts. Sounds good. Oh, cool. So now we can actually use the ski lift to get up and down the mountain quickly. That's cool. Neat. But speaking of which, so this was the other path that we could have taken was literally just run up the mountain like so. So there was a quicker path, but the game for some reason, I mean, again, I think probably because the game just wants to be a little bit more challenging. So it's not so easy. Um, took us a, a long, a much longer route and more complicated route. Not that it was really necessary, though. No worries. No problem. I came to Iceberg to get to the bottom of the supernatural activity happening in Strudelbeck. Do you know anyone who might have some answers? Hmm. A boy with such serious questions should go see our fortune teller Astrid. Here, tag this bracelet and tell her you're a friend. She'll give you a complimentary reading. Hey, that's nice. It's worth a try. We did all that work and now we got another uh, clue for our next puzzle. Now, before we carry on, so first of all, you can see, by the way, look at that luck level that I've got unlocked now. So we're going to keep upgrading that, which is sweet. We're only missing, what, six points now on that one, which is incredible. And speaking of which, we're actually going to go on ahead. And, well, I guess, first of all, we got to talk to Gwen. Oh, sweet. So we unlock side quests now for this area. Neat. Okay, but before we carry on, uh, let's talk to Carla Clams. And interestingly enough, it seems like the upgrade points are unique to each area. So each one of the areas where Carla Clams sells the upgrades, there's three in each shop. So it's not like they're shared across the different shops, which is interesting for sure. So let's go on ahead and acquire that. With that item unlocked, we should get... Hmm, it's weird. So it's stuck on loading. There we go. We should get the upgrade screen. And with that, we now only have five other upgrade points remaining for the uh, maxed out luck rank. Is there a mission? Can you help me delivering pizzas on your scooter? Sure. So what am I supposed to do? Do -do 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 -do. I wonder if this is one of those passive missions that they were talking about earlier. Do -do 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 this makes me think also that, um, I guess you're supposed to keep the pizza hot. I mean, I can't go any quicker. I'm trying, but this is about as fast as my characters. Quick, 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 quick. Who still got it. That was fast. This pizza is so fresh. Thank you so much. No worries. Easy. Easy. We got deliver the pizza mission reward. I'm actually curious. What I want to check real quick is I wonder if that unlocks what I hope that unlocks, which would be that passive mission, because that would help to know that that's um, 
what those missions are. Nope, that's not a passive mission. Hmm. I have no idea what those are then. There must be some sort of task or set of tasks, I should say, that we're just not seeing. And I guess, hopefully, hopefully we will figure out what those are um, in due time. But for now, ladies and gents, uh, we're going to go on ahead and call it a day here for today's episode. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate you guys' support. We're doing very, very well. If you really think about the overall amount of missions that were completed, the amount of upgrades that we've got. And of course, as far as main missions are concerned, I think we have literally, what, five tasks remaining? So once we complete those five tasks, we are done with all three areas and we are 100% complete on all the main mission tasks. Let me double check just to be certain. So we have eight out of eight on this. We have two out of seven. So yes, we have five more remaining over here and we have eight out of eight on this one. So that's why next episode is actually going to be probably quite heavily focused on clearing side missions because I really would like to go on ahead and get those done. And of course, in addition to that, if we can in the process, collect some of the missing records, complete some of the Lord Decibel concerts, get some of the missing trinkets, and hopefully maybe just maybe even figure out what those passive missions are all about. That would all be quite awesome thank you guys so so very much for watching today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and of course i will hopefully catch you all here next time bye bye enjoyed everyone that video and just a quick heads up don't forget guys if you'd like to support the channel furthermore beyond just leaving a like consider becoming a member of the channel members do get exclusive perks like exclusive emotes in addition to that you do get priority in sub game streams as well as custom game streams plus you would get access to the exclusive channels over on the discord server thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace